everyone and welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today we're going to be doing my most requested recipe. One of the most requested recipes I should say is an Indian fudge called either pera or penda. So and this I'm going to be making in the microwave and I am going to be doubling the recipe. So um, for the pera the recipe um, let's go ahead and review our ingredients. So we're going to be using non-fat um, powder here and you don't have to use this kind but it is a non-fat milk powder and um, you can get it anywhere you know Walmart has it, Cubs has it, I know Kroger's has it and so any any kind will do you don't have to buy a brand um, and then we're gonna be doing uh, condensed milk and one stick of butter which measures to so for this recipe, it's going to be measuring to half a cup. And so I'm going to be doubling the recipe. So the recipe that you see under the uh, under your TV screens is going to be doubled. I'm making the doubled one. So let's get a, get ahead. Let's go ahead and get started here. <clears throat> We're going to put and it'd be nice if you can have your butter at room temperature. So everything kind of starts cooking right away into the microwave. Okay, this should make close to 60 uh, pieces. Now, that depends on how big you're gonna make them. Go ahead and add my condensed milk in it. Now once I get it out of the microwave a couple times, we're going to be microwaving it on intervals of one minute for four minutes. And then we'll see how it goes because humidity is going to play a big role in this and it's humid today. So we're going to see how, um, and I'll show you what signs to look for to see the doneness of the pera. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of yellow color in it because I like my pear as yellow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add my cardamom powder in it. I add a lot because I love cardamom powder, but you can adjust towards your taste. Okay, just mix it. Now I'm going to be doing the milk powder. So the normal recipe would be one can condensed milk, one stick of butter, and two measuring cups of milk powder. But remember, again, I have doubled the recipe here because I'm going to be freezing this for my sister's wedding. Now this freezes really, really well as long as you have it in a nice freezer proof um, bag or container, it, it freezes really well. So there you go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put it in our microwave. one minute and then we're going to be taking it out, stirring it, putting it back in the microwave, stirring it and we'll do that five times and then I'm going to show you how it looks like but when we get to the three minute mark we're going to come back and see um, how it looks like and then we'll see what the finished product looks like in the end. This is 
the third time we put it in. I just want you to see the consistency. It's going to be pretty much liquidy. You just want to mix it and then again we're going to be putting it into the microwave for another minute. Take it out, mix it another minute and then I'll tell you exactly how many minutes we cooked it for. So this is the fifth time that we put it in and took it out. At this point you can really tell that it has started cooking. So we're gonna just give it a nice stir and you want to vigorously stir it. It's gonna make it really nice and smooth. So do you see how it's coming together? Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add the yellow coloring in here. You don't have to, this is completely optional. When we uh, were growing up in Africa, every time we had them, they were slightly yellow. So I'm just in the habit of making it yellow, but if you don't like to add food coloring, you can omit the step completely. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to get all the sides of your pan or the bowl cleaned up. And then we're going to stick it back into the fr uh, microwave for another one minute take it out stir it and again we'll put it back in for another minute so this is the last minute that I had put it in a total of seven minutes I'm going to show you what it looks like here again it's got really puffy and do you see when I when I do that it's leaving the sides of the pan that's a really good sign that means that we are done cooking our mixture here. Now again, I'm going to vigorously beat it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take just a little bit and put it on our plate here. Let it cool down and see if we'll be able to roll it. Now, I know you must be thinking that this is really soft to make the, um, the uh, bites, but I'm going to let this rest. Now, the way that you can tell that it's done is that when I run the spatula like this, it comes out clean. See how it just comes out clean? That means that it is, it's done. So we're going to let this rest for close to about 15 minutes and just let it cool down just a little bit. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be cooler for us to mix it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in my hand and then I'm going to pick this up like so. And I'll show you, even though it's so soft, see I'm able to make a ball. And which is, this is exactly the consistency that we want. So let's wait I'm gonna give it 20 minutes when we come back after 20 minutes I'm gonna let we're gonna start rolling these up and then I also have this um, thread uh, just just a spool of thread here um, I covered it with some foil and we're gonna be doing our imprints on it with the spool so I'll see you back here in about 20 minutes it's been about 15 to 18 minutes this is what our para mixture looks like. It looks really, really good, just the way I like it. I am, we're gonna be using ghee, so we can just, it'll be easy for us to, um, so I'm, I'm just gonna take some ghee here and put it in my palms and rub it. And then, Take as big or as little as you want to make them. Now this is really nice and soft and which is exactly how I like it because it's going to not have any cracks in it. It's going to be really nice and smooth. There we go. I'm 
just like so. It is hot. And I just have some wax paper sitting here. And I just do it on the wax paper. Then you just want to take your spool of thread and you want to do the indentations like this. Now, there's a lot of way that you can decorate these. I mean, you can use almonds to decorate it. You can make a little indent in the middle and put some cardamom. You could do a whole almond. You could do cashews. You could do whatever you like for decoration. This is my signature. This is the way I do it. And I do the indentations as soon as, as long as the mixture is warm because once it gets starts getting cool and then when you do the indentations, you're gonna see the sides crack. Now this mixture is really hot. I mean, it's still pretty warm, so I should be okay with like doing two, three before I do my indentation. So I'm gonna go ahead finish these up. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope to see you here next time with another great recipe. See you then friends.